I am joined with Durhund. I am dysfunctional. This is Run, Don't Walk. This is wave two of Melee Singles. We are going to start things off with a Doc Fox. Well into the match. Pat, what do you think? Well, I think that we were late, and I think that I'm going to root for Dr. Mario out of principle. Uh, not looking good for our Fox player. <laughs> this is Niffin. I don't know this Doc player. Who is this is Niffin. He's the Doc. He is a Des Moines. Former Sheik, now turned Dr. Mario. Not sure why, it's usually the other way around, but uh, looking to JV to four right now. Looking real nice. No it's, pun intended. We haven't got to see a lot of modern Doc players, and I really like the character, and I like watching him uh, kill Spacey's. <laughs> always satisfying. I will always defend that Doc is the true ninth character in this game. <laughs> That's game one, speaking of games. But I don't know, I think Doc is. Okay, maybe Samus. Probably Samus Doc, but. I, I think, do Doc think Doc is very is underrated. underrated. Agreed. Completely underrated. It's what happens when a character doesn't have like a modern rep. Like they only have Franz, really. Yeah, Franz. Who's incredible. Like, yeah, to that's be pretty much it, but. to my knowledge. And now Niffin. <laughs> but you gotta at least have one good player, and then it opens the door for everyone else. Correct. And Niffin's looking really good. And I like uh, the pills continue to be relevant. I was always worried that pills were maybe not gonna be a big part of the Doc's game plan. Cape and Phil remain go to Correct. <laughs> so I'm going to guess Pop is not the most knowledgeable player because he counterpicked a Dr. Mario to FD where there is a chain grab. Mm, not the best option. Yeah, sometimes you want to remove the variables and have a simpler game plan. True. But, uh, I imagine it will go for it. <laughs> we'll see. Looking way more even than last game. When we sat down, it was four stocks to one. We're already even in the high hundreds. So yeah. looking to move around on this Fox player. And, and I, I hope to see... Uh, both players open nice. up and yeah, warm up a little bit. I'm glad that we're seeing a better match. Especially with floaties, you don't play very often. The first match is usually going to be uh, feeling it out. Right. A lot of time to warm up, though, so hopefully we get to see not only this match go well, but all these matches go super duper well. Oh, can he make it back? Will he go for the cape? Doesn't get the cape. Surprisingly, a good angle from the Fox player. Looking to chain grab here. Love to see One it. after another. I think this goes okay to the 48% apparently. But I think you can do it to about 60 if you're like perfect. Still perfect. keeping control, which I like to see. Not getting reversed on by the drill. Yeah, this is definitely yeah, something. Oh, nice. Definitely want to play center stage around Doc. Because he will just try and gimp you off the edge. <laughs> Good mash out. The players Loving feeling each other hop. out. Yeah. Walking around, goes for the Randy Fair. Love to see it. Up smash, can probably connected with another up smash. I may have formerly main Doc at one time, which could explain the bias. <laughs> My first character. Right, right. Always oh. that obscure matchup knowledge, just <laughs> lying around. The pills are such an interesting projectile because of the way they bounce. It's just uh, even to this day. So a lot of players just don't know like the pattern and like where to shield or when to try and bear them or something. Yeah, if you're not ready to deal with uh, Doc's recovery and how he uses pills in recovery, it feels terrible. It feels like he's on edge guardable. And if you don't know how to deal with him in neutral, it also feels really oppressive. Right. Let's it ride. Niffin taking that one 2 0 to move on into the pool. We'll see Pop in the loser's bracket. Great call on the fair there for the neutral get up. 